Prince Harry, Chris Jackson, Getty Images It's no secret that Donald Trump and his antics are currently wreaking more than a bit of havoc on the United States presidency and the government. From poorly thought-out legislation to full-out Twitter wars, every day something new seems to surface out of Washington, D.C. However, for the next few years, or until the Mueller investigation is concluded, it looks like we will all have to hunker down and deal with Trump and his family. Still, it's not just American citizens who are being forced to bear with Trump. Our British allies, particularly the royal family, have also had to interact with Trump and his family. Since the royals are obviously posh, dapper, and super polite, they have done nothing but remain gracious to the Trumps. However, in a recent photo with First Lady Melania Trump, Prince Harry seems more than a little off balance. Here is the story behind that horrifying picture, check it out on page 5. The Invictus Games Prince Harry attended the 2017 Invictus Games with Meghan Markle. Chris Jackson, Getty Images In October 2017, Prince Harry and his wife-to-be, suits actress Meghan Markle, attended the Prince's annual international adaptive multi-sport event. First created in 2014, Prince Harry's organization invites wounded, injured, or sick armed services personnel and their associated veterans to take part in sports. In 2017, the Invictus Games were held in Toronto. Next, keeping a tradition alive a traditional opening ceremony Melania Trump got to sit right next to royalty. Chris Jackson, Getty Images for Invictus Games, as former First Lady Michelle Obama did in 2016, Melania Trump attended the opening ceremony of the Invictus Games. It was Trump's first international trip as First Lady. She said that she had an amazing day. Next, an awkward photo op that goes viral an awkward photo op once you notice, you can't unsee it. Chris Jackson, Getty Images for the Invictus Games Foundation Upon arriving at the Sheridan Hotel in Toronto, Trump and Prince Harry posed for a photo, which turned out to be less than stellar. In the photo, Prince Harry stands near the First Lady for the photo. However, he is making a very odd gesture with his left hand, as you can see on the following page. Next, here's the picture that sparked controversy. Devil's horn, what does this hand gesture mean? Chris Jackson, Getty Images for the Invictus Games Foundation Prince Harry's hand gesture in the photo was so strange that many began calling it the Devil's Horn. One Twitter user even took it super far saying, Prince. Next, here's a much more reasonable explanation. A sign of self-comfort the gesture fueled all sorts of speculation. Giphy the photo and speculation behind the red-headed prince's hand spread across the internet like wildfire. Body language expert Patty Wood had another theory behind Prince Harry's hand gesture. She told the Huffington Post, this is called the horn or the devil's horn, and what people are saying in the media about it is not correct. It is not a sign that he's the devil, but rather a warning off of evil spirits. It's a protective gesture against evil or darkness and illness. I've seen world leaders in photo shoots with Trump, and I see a lot of what are called self-comfort cues. This would be considered one of those... It looks like the devil's horn but it is also hand to belly. At the very least it would be a comfort cue, and show a lot of tension and a need to protect his central core. Next, the real deal and how photos can lie the real deal the record has been set straight, Eamon M. McCormick, Getty Images CNN reporter Kate Bennett, who is also a White House correspondent and followed the Obamas and now misses. Trump finally gave us the real backstory behind the very uncomfortable photo. Bennett told the Daily Front Row that, Prince Harry, was reaching into one button his coat to sit down, but the cameras kept clicking so he still had his hand in there in that weird way, he was pausing. He wasn't throwing a secret gang sign. They got held up in the pictures. Yeah, not as exciting an explanation as we had hoped. Next, the First Lady and the Prince got along quite well. A White House invitation could there be a new friendship in the works. Gregory Seamus Getty Images for the Invictus Games Foundation Despite the less-than-stellar photo of the First Lady in her Dior pantsuit standing with Prince Harry, it seems that the duo got along quite well. Trump even invited the Prince of Wales to the White House. Next, are Prince Harry and Meghan Markle snubbing Donald Trump in another way? Prince Harry and Meghan Markle want to invite the Obamas to their wedding, but not the Trumps. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are causing controversy over their wedding guest list. Chris Jackson, Getty Images While Trump may have extended an invitation to the royal, the favor may not be returned. Prince Harry and Markle tie the knot on May 19, 2018, and though they'd love to see Barack and Michelle Obama in attendance, they may not planning to invite Trump and his family. If we know anything about Trump, he wouldn't take this decision lightly. 
According to a senior government official, Harry has made it clear he wants the Obamas at the wedding, so it's causing a lot of nervousness. The official continued, Trump could react very badly if the Obamas get to a royal wedding before he has had a chance to meet the Queen. Next, Trump already has enough tension with our friends across the pond. Tensions are already high between Trump and Britain. Tensions have been high between British Prime Minister Theresa May and President Donald Trump. Brendan Smielowski, AFP, Getty Images may be the UK. Government would feel differently if Trump's relationship with Britain wasn't already strained. The London mayor wants to keep Trump from an official state visit, and the parliament debated banning him from Britain prior to his presidency. On top of all this, British Prime Minister Theresa May personally called him out when he retweeted anti Islam videos. British far-right leader Jada Franson of Britain First originally posted the videos on Twitter. May's office responded specifically to Trump's retweet and denounced Britain First in the process, it is wrong for the president to have done this. Britain First seeks to divide communities through their use of hateful narratives which penalize and stoke tensions. They cause anxiety to law-abiding people. British people overwhelmingly reject the prejudiced rhetoric of the far right which is the antithesis of the values that this country represents, decency, tolerance, and respect. Next, Merkel had strong words to describe Trump. Merkel has condemned Trump's behavior in the past. Meghan Merkel has expressed concern regarding Donald Trump as president in the past. Tazos Katapotes, Getty Images Merkel has already voiced in the past that she isn't a fan of Trump. As a guest on The Nightly Show with Larry Wilmore in May 2016, Merkel was asked how she felt about Trump running for president. She referred to the then-candidate as divisive and misogynistic and even explained why she was happy her show Suits is filmed in Canada. She expressed, it's really the moment that I go, we film Suits in Toronto and I might just stay in Canada. I mean come on, if that's reality we are talking about, come on, that is a game-changer in terms of how we move in the world here. Now that Markle is about to be royal, she won't be allowed to share her political opinions. However, she's already said enough to prove just how she feels about the current president. Next, Prince Harry and Trump will probably never have a connection like this. Prince Harry and Obama are already friends. Harry and Barack Obama appear to be true friends. Kensington Palace via Getty Images If you take politics out of the equation, Prince Harry and former President Obama seem to be genuine friends. They've been seen laughing together on the sidelines of the Invictus Games, and have proven their humor fits together seamlessly. In a recent BBC clip, in which Prince Harry interviewed Obama, the two were throwing jokes back and forth at one another. They laughed about British accents and Harry giving Obama the face, and it was adorable. Next, do the royal family and the Obamas just have more in common? The royal family and the Obamas have shared interests. The Obamas and the royals have shared interests. Benger, WPA Pool, Getty Images Besides the friendly rapport of the BBC interview, it proved even further that Prince Harry and Obama have the same interests in mind. According to Kensington Palace, the interview involved conversation regarding shared interest in building platforms for the next generation of young leaders. Obama also shared memories of the day he left office and his hopes for his post-presidential life. However, this wasn't the first time they've joined together for similar discussion. In May 2017, the royal family had Obama as a guest at Kensington Palace. They discussed topics such as support for veterans, mental health, conservation, empowering young people, and the work of their respective foundations. Next, Obama uses Twitter for positive messages. Obama congratulated Prince Harry and Markle, but Trump did not. Barack Obama tweeted this congratulatory message to the royal couple. Barack Obama via Twitter Trump wasn't exactly willing to extend his congratulations to Harry and Markle on their engagement, anyway. While the president tweeted nothing, Obama sent a sweet message to the royal couple. He tweeted, Michelle and I are delighted to congratulate Prince Harry and Meghan Markle on their engagement. We wish you a lifetime of joy and happiness together. Whether or not the Obamas get an invite to the wedding, we're sure they'll be completely understanding of the situation. Maybe the power couples can go on a double date for more private celebration, and avoid nasty tweets, at best, or destruction of international relations, at worst, from Trump. Additional reporting by Chelsea Leary. Follow Aramide on Twitter at Midnight Trummy. Check out the cheat sheet on Facebook.